Um, so moving into more horse race stuff of, uh, you know, what's in the news today. Um, Congress is currently battling it out about another round of legislation uh, to address the pandemic. Um, you know, what are you guys here and what can we expect from the bill? Um, I know the Senate was talking about possibly uh, voting on it today, but it's looking like it might not pass till Thursday. You know, what's, what, what are we looking at? What's going to be in there? Well, the most important thing and what you're hearing a lot about in the, in the media is certainly refunding the, the Paycheck Protection Program or the PPP. So that will open up a new, uh, a new avenue for folks who are still seeking these loans. I mean, it's my understanding from medical practices across the country that some of them have their applications in, but the money just was not assigned and was not loaned out. So, you know, we'll have to see how much the next uh, tranche or the next amount of money, how far it goes. And at least as what we're hearing, there ne doesn't seem to be an upper limit on the amount of money that um, potentially um, small businesses might get as part of not just, well, in terms of this uh, bill, uh, we're looking at probably about 250 billion, but there's still talk about providing as much help as possible to for, for businesses dealing with the, uh, the pandemic. There are other provisions. And again, I have to qualify it because I haven't seen the language. It's important, um, you know, when we talk about these things to speak from what you have seen and you know, um, but um, this is what we've been hearing in conversations with people on the Hill. There are some other provisions for protective uh, uh, equipment um, and other um, more frontline oriented um, provisions that may be included in the bill, but um, you know, there's also money, more direct funding that's been discussed, uh, at, you know, at least in the context of, of what we're watching. Our constituents are largely medical group practices, um, but there is some money that's being earmarked for hospitals at least, uh, and, and you know, we, we would be asking that that money is spread around from hospitals to hospitals and medical practices to deal with the financial implications that are, are, are hitting both uh, types of uh, delivery systems.